got, I got, I got, I got loyalty, got royalty inside my DNA. Cocaine quarter piece, got war and peace inside my DNA. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Sean Be Nice. Back again with Smoke Heat Rock. Now, I know I dropped a video for y'all early today with me unboxing the phone in my car. Just kind of give you guys like my first impressions real quick. But I didn't really, this is going to be my real first impressions video right here. Also, I want to give you guys just like a little quick feature that to kind of help you run through this phone, like kind of make your experience a little bit better. I'm hoping it can make it a little bit better than mine because so far my experience with this phone has not been the greatest. And that's why I'm a little upset because I don't understand how these YouTubers, have been able to give this phone so much praise when off back i'm finding so many things wrong with it and i'm only going to point out a few so what i'm gonna try to do is if i can kind of keep it you know keep it in memory i'm gonna try to give y'all an issue that i have with the phone then i'm trying to give you guys a tip that'll make your phone like you know what i'm saying like a little bit better so first issue i have with the phone is unused screen space now what i mean by that is so let's go to text messaging right all right, so here you guys can see uh, I was sending an emoji to my sister, right? Animojis, okay, they cool, you know, but that novelty is going to wear off pretty soon. So if you look at here, right, you got this bar taking up space. As you guys can see the IR blast look for me to my reason. I don't know why. But when I get ready to start texting, look at all this screen real estate that's not being used. Why aren't you using that? Why do you have this taken up and then you have this taken up? You could have easily hit this somewhere or there's something totally different with that. So you got this being taken up and you got this being taken up. Now we turn the phone to landscape. You're still, you have all this extra space. Why aren't you using that? Why do you just have this, you put a, a mic here and an emoji symbol here. You could easily put these into the keyboard and expand the keyboard out. To me, that was lazy. Very, very lazy. Uh, I feel like that was, they just kind of like, the iPhone X, they knew people were going to want this phone the most. So they was like, hey dude, you know, just, just get it out there. I don't like that. Now, Here's a tip for you guys. Uh, <laughs> I know that's kind of crazy, but I'm trying to just balance it out to let you guys know that I've actually been using the phone. And I'm not somebody just talking at the side of their neck right now. I've been using it, but these are just the things that I've been noticing that I just do not particularly care for. Okay. So tip number one. So for those who do not know how to close that applications on their phone, here's, here's how, um, because they don't really, you know, tell you how to do it. So you just want to slide up like you yeah, any other app, right? You want to hold it. As you hold it, you can either hit the red icon that's gonna disappear or you can flick them up like you've been normally doing. No problem. You know what I mean? So that's not a that's not an issue at all. Now, so that was a rant. Uh and uh a thing to help you out. Back to the rant. I can't put the battery percentage in the right hand corner anymore. So I'm gonna bring it up close, right? Uh if you can focus. Let's see. Okay, so as you guys see it is focusing. I can't get you cannot loan you know you <laughs> God, I'm so frustrated with this phone. You can no longer put the battery percentage in the corner. The only way to see the battery percentage now is you gotta slide down from the right hand side of the corner, you see the phone's at 47%. That is the only way you can have this phone indicate the battery percentage. Now, I had one of my buddies on Facebook, they was like, Well, dude, where else are they supposed to put it? They don't have any much room for the screen. Put it in the battery icon. You could easily put it in there. Okay, I, I understand that maybe you guys looking at like looking at it here, maybe you guys didn't have enough space. Okay. Make the battery a little bit bigger, right? Widen that out, put the battery percentage in there. How hard is that? No, that's just laziness, like whatever, just put something in there, okay? No excuse for that. Uh, now, here's something that kinda help you guys out. Here's a, <laughs> here's a feature to help you out. Now, this phone has an OLED panel, okay? Um, this phone looks so dope with the feature where you can change the display to the smart. Remember you guys, I showed you guys my iPhone 8 plus video. I try to link down the right hand corner. Um, my iPhone 8 plus video, the tips and tricks, you know, you can change the, uh, the, like the, you can make the background black, right? So you go to display, so you, you know, first it's an accessibility, right? You go to display accommodations. As soon as it focuses, you go to display accommodations, invert colors, smart invert. This phone would have an OLED panel looks so sexy. Now you can't even see this black bar up here. It's not as bad, you know what I mean? So it just, it blends so well with the phone. Hell, if even Apple would've did something like that, just make it where you could change the, the theme of the phone or something like that, I don't think I'd have been as upset as I am now about the phone, because I just feel like it's just, it was. I just feel like this phone was rushed, you know what I mean? Now I haven't downloaded every, like a lot of apps, but the apps that I have been using, they just have not been the best, right? The best experience. So. If we go to a first, let me go back and turn this off. 
and make everything look a little funny. So if we go right here to Google Play Music, right? As you can see, Google Play Music is not optimized for this app. So you have a big black bar here, you have a big black bar there. Why Apple? Why did you had you first of all you announced the phone in September? There's no reason for you not to talk to these developers, say, hey, I need you guys to get these certain apps developed, especially you know apps people are gonna use, like Google Docs, uh, you know, like YouTube, uh, Google Play Movies, stuff like that. Like you stuff you know that pe people use Google servers in your phone, you know that. So why not talk to Google, hey, make sure that I need this right for my customers. I don't, you know what I'm saying, put whatever little uh, tech rival you guys got aside and say, I need this right for my customer. And you guys didn't do that. So to me, that's another lackluster thing that you guys gonna, that you guys didn't do and I don't appreciate that at all. So now, another feature or tip for you guys, is I'm gonna kinda like throw these in both. You should know this, but I'm just gonna throw it in for you, okay? Um, some don't know how to get to the dashboard. If you do not remember how to get to the dashboard, again, you slap in the right hand corner of the phone um, and then to get to the like your notification you slap on the left hand side of the phone okay you should know that again but whatever if you don't and also to kind of like breeze through your apps a little bit just slide over okay i think this is the coolest feature ever i can never get tired of it i just think that is like the dopest thing to do on the phone okay now um last thing i have an issue with and i'm gonna finish it off with something i think that'll make your phone look a little better okay last thing i have an issue with is like i said apps not being optimized for the phone here's a prime example as far as with video playback now now somebody told me say hey double tap on a movie and it will open it up you know what i'm saying it expands it out i said okay i can already see that this app is not optimized for the phone but hell i'll give it a try so i go in here i hit play i'm gonna turn this down and i hit double tap you know to try to expand it out that's not working so i'm assuming it's only working for like iMovies but i mean itunes but I, okay if i'm an android user i'm coming to your platform i don't have an itunes you know movie a lot of my stuff is on um google so i'm transferring all my movies over here because this is what i want to watch today but this is what i'm stuck with look at how many black bars black boards that you guys have let's speak to the movie look jeez i picked the darkest movie i could find didn't i uh okay let's go back let's let's find i'm just trying to give you guys something that's a little bit brighter so you guys can see exactly what i'm talking about okay let's go to my library and then we gotta do <laughs> black dynamite dopest movie ever um so we're gonna go here now as you guys can see if it focuses correctly it's just black bars now if we let's see if we can turn the brightness up and that's another issue i got with the phone as well <laughs> now look at that now this phone will be nice and crispy if i didn't feel like i was just holding the iphone 8. i feel like this is just not an iphone 8. this what it reminds me of it doesn't when i use certain apps i don't feel like i'm using the iphone x and i do not appreciate that apple you guys are asking me for a thousand dollars for a device that you know is not worth it and i have a huge issue with that i have a huge issue with people trying to make excuses for why apple is doing this no if the phone came out, if you guys announced the phone in September, the phone came out November 3rd, why don't you have these apps optimized? It's, it's no excuse for that. I'm not trying to hit, it's nothing nobody can say to me to sit there and say, boom, 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 what's the reason? I'm not trying to hit that B. They should have had this optimized. It's not my job to sit there and wait. If I get you a thousand dollars for the phone, I expect my phone to be ready to go. I'm ready to, I'm ready to see. I want all my apps to look like this. Full use of the bar. I want, that's how I want my apps to look. I, I wanted to see all my apps looking like this. I don't want to have to wait like you guys get the iPhone 6. And if anything, history pieces. So we all know how long it took when you guys transitioned from the iPhone 5S to the iPhone 6 to how long it took for those apps to be scaled to the right size. So how long is it going to take for this? So pretty much what you're telling me is you're doing this as a dummy unit. You're going to put this out. So next year when you put out the iPhone XL, it's gonna, everything's going to be right then. But I'll give you $1,000 for the phone now. Why do I have to wait? You see what I'm saying? That's what I have a problem with. Don't give me a half-assed device because you know the economy is going to eat it up like these guys have already sold 12 million phones within just the pre-orders right the phone just came out today and they've already sold 12 million so 12 million people went out and bought this phone a half-assed phone and apple knew people were going to buy it because they knew the iphone 8 and the 8 plus were not going to sell like that which to me in my opinion as of right now the iphone 8 and the 8 plus is a better buy at least you're getting a phone that's fully optimized so why would i recommend this phone over something like the Note 8, that's definitely not happening. The S8, which I'm, in which I'm filming on right now, or the LG V30 Plus. We're here, this phone, the phone has fast charging. It doesn't have Face ID, which is another thing I have a problem with. But first, let me give you, let me give you a little tip to help you out. Now, so, so for you guys who are new to, you know, for Apple devices, this is your first year having an OLED panel. OLED panels is pretty much, you know, uh, deep blacks, more richer color, saturated colors. So 
blank wallpapers look beautiful. So if I were you, if you want your phone to look like really, really unique and kind of how they unibody design, get yourself a black wallpaper because that means all the pixels are off. So it's just like all the icon stuff like right now, as you guys can see, it's just going to pop. It looks really good. But again, let's go back to my other issue. You try to get $1,000 for a phone. You, you guys say the phone has fast charging, but you didn't include the fast charger in the box, right? So you try to get $1,000, so say, I got to pay extra money for that now. The phone only, is only a 64 gig, which, I'm, which is $1,000. 64 gigs, okay? I can't expand the storage, okay? And I only have one way to open up my phone. So right now, it's a three-step it's, it's three process to unlock your phone. I'm going to show you how, and I'm going to show you right now. First, let's say you grab your phone, right? It's off. You have to turn the phone on. So turn the phone on if you don't have Raise the Wake on. Some people don't want Raise the Wake on. So let, let's say you just pick it up, you hit the power, you hit power, you look at it, and then you still have to swipe up. Why? Why can't I hit it where if I do Raise the Wake, as soon as the phone recognizes my face, let me turn it on. You know what I'm saying? Let me go right into my phone. If, if, or, you know, if I hit the power button, then make it a two step process. If I hit the power button, look at it, take me to my phone. If I just want to look at my notifications, then I use the Raise the Wake feature, which would be now right then i use that but as of right now i have to do three things and then on top of that once it's unlocked i can't slide up from here right um whatever i can't slide up from anywhere on the screen i literally have to go all the way down to the bottom that's ridiculous okay so i'm gonna recommend this phone it costs more than this phone they both have dual cameras the camera on this phone is amazing well the rear camera not the front camera you know what i mean has fast charging that comes with the phone um you know what i'm saying wide angle lens manual control of the camera so i can't so and then on top of that you guys don't have the best camera this is not the best camera in the market why are you charging me a thousand dollars for this phone i want these youtubers out here and people like uh i just read an article i think it was wall street journal sitting here just to find a price for a thousand dollar device that don't even give you everything that you deserve in a phone i can't no i can't allow that you took a feature away from me and then made me go through another step just to unlock my phone no i'm not buying the apple okay i'm not feeling that Y'all bogus for the, you know what I'm saying? Y'all bogus. And I hope, and I don't care if you guys agree with me or not. I really don't. At this point, the fact that 12 million people bought this device really doesn't matter what I say because Apple sees that it works. So we're giving Apple the thumbs up and say, yeah, man, charge a thousand dollars for a half ass device that doesn't have optimized apps. It doesn't, you don't give me the fast charge included with the phone. You don't make sure the apps are ready. You take away battery percentage icon. I got to go through cumber, cumbersome things just to unlock my phone now. Nah, B. Nah, I'm not I'm not feeling that. So, that's my two cents about the phone. Those are my first initial impressions. So far, I'm not impressed, and I don't think this phone is worth it. I, I cannot recommend this phone. I would recommend an iPhone 8 or the 8 Plus, especially after seeing this device. I can recommend the LG V30 or the LG V30 Plus. Definitely the HTC U11, killing this phone. The Note 8, S8, S8 Plus. Hell, at this point, the one, the the One Plus 5T. There are a lot. I mean, some people who don't like Android get that. If you don't like Android, iPhone X is still not for you. Go with the iPhone 8 or the 8 Plus or the 7 and 7 Plus, which is cheaper right now, which is pretty much identical to the 8 and the 8 Plus. If you don't have wireless chargers in your crib anyway, it don't make you a difference. So why not go with the cheaper device? It's the better buy. This, I'm sorry, I cannot stamp this saying it's worth a thousand dollars. So, with that being said. I appreciate y'all. I know I'm probably gonna get some hate in this video. Whatever. I don't care. I'm trying to help you guys out and stop so we can stop telling these people it's okay to pay thousand dollars for a phone. Like with the Google Pixel 2, you think I'm gonna give you a thousand dollars for a phone and you can't even one give me some headphones in a box? But you think I'm gonna give you a thousand dollars for this phone and you guys ain't gonna recognize the display issue that you're having? And you can't even give me wireless chart. I'm gonna give you okay, you're out of your mind. No, we have to stop just because we love a product or we love a company. We don't we don't want to give them an okay to say, hey, yeah, rape us because we want the device anyway to rape our pockets. No, man, we, we can't do that. We cannot do that. No, I don't agree. And I hope you guys don't either, man. Like we got to We got to stop it. We got to stop it now. So it's your boy, Sean. Be nice, man. I appreciate the love and the support. Please give this video a thumbs up. It do help my channel. But no hate. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. Tell me what you didn't like about it. Tell me what you disagree on. Let's let's talk about it in the comment section. I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not scared of this like B. I'm not. So, it's your boy Sean. Be nice, man. I'm out. Deuces.